Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moon Seeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing a conversation with the Divine Feminine. So let's see what the Divine Feminine has on her mind today. If you guys are interested in getting this as a personal reading, I do offer this option in my shop. It's a conversation with the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. All the information you need is in the description box below. So guys, remember this is a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. If this is not your story, it's not your story, and that's okay. Do not try to make anything fit. I do use he and she for divine feminine and divine masculines, but that's just an energy. It's not an indication of gender. So let's see what is going on for the divine feminine. What does she want to talk about today? What does the Divine Feminine want to talk about today? What is on her mind? Well, we have here judgment. She wants to talk about some kind of judgment, some kind of karma perhaps. She wants to talk about her awakening, what's going on for her right now. She might be going through a tight period of awakening. We have here the High Priestess in reverse here. So this is about her, um, losing her inner voice, losing her intuition or, or losing parts of herself somehow. We have here also about the um, King of Pentacles in reverse here. This is about maybe something about her being controlling or um, the Divine Masculine being controlling. But let's pull one more card for this before we get our story. So we've got two more cards here. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And this speaks about being um, in a that energy of desperation and also being and not standing in your power not being authentic and then lastly we have here the nine of swords so she's having nightmares something is keeping her up at night this is keeping her up at night so she's going through her period of awakening she's had this there's been this time of reckoning for her she's reflecting on people places and things she's understanding that there needs to be karma cleared there's certain karma ancestral karma especially that needs to be dealt with there needs to be some kind of um coming um coming back around somehow so she's been reflecting upon this she's been looking at this but in all of this she's realizing that she has kind of lost touch with her inner guidance her own inner voice she doesn't perhaps trust that voice anymore she has she lost trust or faith or for a moment i feel it's a momentary um thing like she lost her voice she lost control over that perhaps because we have this king of pentacles here the king of pentacles in the in reverse here that's talking about um controlling and this could be that she's trying to control her circumstances and perhaps she's been feeling like she's spiraling and in order to regain some kind of control she's become obsessive when it comes to controlling everything around her outside factors that she really has no control over she be, might have been trying to control the situation with a divine masculine um you know however it resonates take it as is we also have here the queen of wands here so she's like this, this is an air of desperation an air of desperation and not being her authentic self she might be living in a truth that is not hers she might be trying to be like other people trying to look up to other people to emulate them to be that person to be someone else perhaps there's a third party going on here with a divine masculine and perhaps she thinks that maybe she emulates that third party person the person who's in the entanglement that that would help her that that would you know um, make her perhaps that in the divine masculine's eyes more uh more of the better choice or something but all this is doing here because we have these two these cards here cupped here between the judgment and the nine of swords here so all of this that's happening here in the middle all these reverse cards here is part of the clearing of the karma a part of awakening all these things have been triggered have come up for her so she can heal them so she can transform them because these things keep her up at night all of this trying to be someone who she's not keeps her up at night because she has anxiety she has she's worried she feels guilty because she's letting herself down she's letting her her intuition and her higher self down because she knows deep down inside because she is connected most of the divine feminines here are connected and they feel it and they feel that 
and abandonment they have abandoned themselves on the journey by pursuing to be like someone else something else that is not um for them so having said that i'm just gonna i feel like i'm gonna do this this reading differently i'm not gonna do it the way i normally do it um but let's see here what what she has to say about all these things and, it, and how it relates to her divine masculine so the first thing we have here i've thought about i thought I've, i have thought a lot about you lately so underneath here the um judgment card you know during this time of reflection she's been thinking a lot about the divine masculine um thinking a lot about their connection and and who they are to each other you also you have here i wish i could take back the things i said there were some more exchange of words here that um perhaps weren't so very um high vibrational and by high vibrational i mean that they would did not come from a place of love they did not come from a place of um it came from a place of anger a place of um uh, of jealousy you know those kind of energies so we have here with a with a judgment card that you know they just felt like they've been think, th thinking about the divine masculine a lot because this th there, there was an exchange of words um and also that you know they're going through this awakening they're reflecting on things and one of the things they're reflecting on is the divine masculine and the journey they they share together i'm just gonna put them up there so high priestess in the universe high priestess in the universe what does she have to say about this we have here i'm reminded of you constantly so not only um does she think about the divine masculine a lot? She's reminded of the divine masculine constantly. And with this coming underneath the high priestess in reverse, I feel like you are being reminded, divine feminines, uh, about the divine masculine. So you can get back to balancing yourself. This could be that you need to balance your divine masculine and divine feminine within you. But this is how you get back to your inner voice. Remember, um, like remember who you are. You've forgotten. For some of you, you've forgotten who you are. It's time to remember who you are. It's time to come back to self. And that starts with um, balancing divine feminine and divine masculine. So when you, do, when you are um, reminded of your divine masculine, your divine counterpart, it's a reminder really to you to balance within yourself your divine femininity and your divine masculinity. Which brings us to the king of pentacles here. What do we have when it comes to this controlling energy? Whether it be the divine feminine controlling or the divine masculine controlling. What do we have with controlling? I can still feel you. So, okay, I'm getting two messages here. For some of you, the fact that you can still feel your divine counterpart is making you feel like you lack control in this entire situation. It makes you feel like you don't have any control in this. You feel like you, doesn't matter what you do, you don't have a say. You This is what also prompts you to, to feel like you've lost your inner voice. You feel like this is out of control. You're not in control. Someone else is in control. You have no say. You have lost your voice you have you have lost control over this um for some of you this energy feeling your person it's not helping it's harming you right now um and i get the then the energy it's overwhelming for you because you're not with your person you you're separated and having this energy linger around you is just causing you more hurt more pain if I knew what I know now I would have made different choices so this is you know hindsight is 2020 20 and they're like, you know what, um, had I known, I would have gone down a different path. A different path that wasn't as painful, perhaps. Or a different path that, you know, perhaps not even meeting your divine counterpart or not, not in this lifetime at least. But saying that is like trying to say that, you know, 
why should I love myself? It, if it's your divine counterpart, you're two halves of one soul. There is no not going through this. Yes, there's maybe things you could have done to lessen the blow. But this, this, this whole pain, this hurt, this trauma, this awakening of all traumas is all part of your journey, all part of your healing process. What they trigger in you is part of the process. Queen of Wands. I still love you. Even though you think that you might be you you might be unauthentic, or your person might be unauthentic, and this this air of desperation, it comes from a place of love. They love you, you love them, but they all understand that you know this Queen of Wands has to be upright. This you know the codependency and desperation is not a good match when it comes to this divine connection. Nine of Swords. Seeing reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always to easy to deal with. So this is in the core of it all. This why you have these nightmares, or why your your divine uh, mask that has nightmares is because you guys trigger these things within each other, and it's not easy. It's not easy for you guys to look at your shadows and look at your traumas and really deal with them. You know, you want to do it in your own time. But sometimes divine is like the time is now. Yes, you're not ready, but we're going to make it happen right now because it's for your highest and greatest good for it to happen now. You cannot hold on to this any longer because you have held on to it for as long as you can. You have carried it as far as you can. It is time now to put the burden down and release it. So know that when they do deal with you sometimes and they see you and they act a little bit, cold or harsh or whatever it's because just like they trigger things within you you trigger things within within them and no it's not making excuses for the person because poor poor behavior is poor behavior and it's never um honorable so guys that is today's reading i hope you guys have enjoyed that again if you guys are interested in this reading it is available in my shop all the information you need is in the description box below Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.